Brilliant. I have just unpacked my Skyboat Arch from Roy Miller and I'm amazed. It's brilliant quality. Everything's... Thank you very much. I'm off to test it. Woohoo! On the beach at Sheila Vost and there's tunes in the dunes today. We party and this thing is beating around. It's gusting up to about 30 miles an hour. So Roy is doing really well. You couldn't ask for a more beautiful location in the school. And she's looking all right. Nylock, uh, double knotted on the back and double knotted on the front on that hold. It's really easy to take out of the sand as well. Uh, it hasn't pulled out right now because I've got it slightly angled to the, the angle that that's pulling at, but really easy to slide out. If it's held, if you do try and stop the ribbon at all, on one side, it takes the, takes the smooth, twisted profile out of it. Um, it sort of tends to, if I try and stop this, tends to drop it. There's a bit of a shake, a ripple goes through the whole thing. Then it settles itself back down. Now what I'm wanting to test is, if I apply some braking force on both sides, you get enough, can you control it enough with a microcontroller to say keep the ane an even amount of spin so you can take out an equal number of turns or count an equal number of turns going around there on each side wirelessly so you can control what's going around and take a little bit of stroke out a little bit of a <laughs> electromagnet juice out each time each rev or you know give a few rev breaks so it can even 